math differentiation class. I'm Agnes and I will bring you through the shortcuts of differentiation. So we are going to cover the basics of differentiation today. For the proofs, you can check the links down below. But uh, for the purpose of this video, it would be the shortcuts. All right, let's go. Ta-da! So the rule number one is the scalar multiple rule, the basic of differentiation. So when we want to differentiate x to the power of n, it will equal to the n, uh, n multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1. What this simply means in English is that we just need to bring the power down, power of x down, and then we need to minus 1 on its power. Let's try it, all right? So this is x to the power of 5. We are going to differentiate it. So we're just simply going to bring that power down and then put in front of x. And then from the 5, we will minus 1. Think of it as, well, I have 5 arrows. I shot one arrow and ta-da, yeah. What am I left with? Well, we are left with four arrows. So the answer simply to differentiate x to the power of 5 would be 5x to the power of 4. All right, it's simple enough, right? Let's go to something a bit harder. So here we need to differentiate 1 third x to the power of negative 4 plus 2 pi. So here we're going to differentiate it. We're going to do the same thing. We'll leave the coefficient uh, the same. So one third would be one third here. Uh, let's look at this. So x has a power of negative 4. Just simply bring the negative 4 down. And we have x. So negative 4, remember, we shot an mo. We have 2 minus 1. All right, great. Now let's try to differentiate 2 pi. So 2 pi is interesting, right? It's a constant number and it doesn't have an x partner, but we need to differentiate in respect to x. So let's add a partner for it. So 2 pi is the same as 2 pi times 1, which is the same as 2 pi times x to the power of 0, because anything to the power of 0 is 1. So when we try to differentiate x to the power of 0, when we try to bring the 0 down, anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So this whole term is actually 0. We can ignore this. So this is something important that we will find out. Any constant, when we try to differentiate it, constant meaning like 2 or 3 or 4 will equal to 0 when we differentiate it. So now let's simplify this. Simply 1 third times negative 4 will give me negative 4 over 3. And x minus 4 minus 1 will give me x to the power of negative 5. So just remember, all constants when differentiated is 0. All right, now that we have mastered the scalar multiple rule, let's move on to the chain rule, our rule number two, that states that dy over dx is equals to du over dx multiplied by dy over du. This is true, right? Because, you know, if we refresh our memories from multiplying fractions, we just need to simplify the top and the bottom and we get dy over dx. So how do we apply the chain rule to differentiation? Let's try this example here. So remember, when we use the chain rule, we use it on uh, mainly when there is an x in the bracket. So here there's an x in the bracket, and we're going to let the inside of the bracket be u. So we're going to let the inside of the bracket be u, all right? So now we have u equals to 5x plus 1. And then when we try to differentiate this with respect to x, what we get is, well, 5x to the power of 1. So 1 multiplied by 5 is 5. x to the, uh, will become uh, to the power of 0, which is 1. You can just leave it. And 1 is a constant, so when we differentiate it, it will be a 0. All right, now we are done with du dx. Let's try to find dy over du. So y, y is equals to? Here we see it, it's u cube. All right, so let's try to differentiate dy over du now. Simply, 
with respect to U3, we're going to bring it in front. And 2, uh, yeah, so this will become 2 because 3 minus 1 is 2. Right, we're not done yet. We're not quite done yet. We are supposed to find the y over the x. So now we simply have to multiply the two differentials that we found. So we're going to take 5 multiplied by 3u squared. This gives us 15u squared. And we can't leave it in terms of u because, well, this is in terms of x. So let's just substitute it back in. So u equals to 5x plus 1, right? Substitute that back in. And voila, we have our answer here. So dy over dx is equal to 15 multiplied by 5x plus 1 squared. OK. So an easy way to understand it, well, I know this looks really complicated. But what it means in English is, well, we look at the inside bracket, right? So we look at this whole bracket as a whole term. So we're going to look at this whole bracket as a whole term, maybe an apple, you know, and then we are going to differentiate this apple cube and then differentiate the inside and multiply them together. Let's try. So dy over dx here. Okay, this is apple cube, okay? So what happens is we bring down the power, three. And then the apple remains the same. So it's 5x plus 1. And then this, the power here, 3. Remember, we used that one m, so we have to minus 1. That gives us 2. And the last step, it's multiplied with the differential of the inside bracket. So now the apple has to be deconstructed. we got to differentiate the inside. So 5x plus 1, when they differentiate that, it would give us 5 so simplify this, 3 multiplied by 5 gives me 15, and ta-da, we have the same answer. And we have to write less lines if we do it by this way. So something easier to understand is the chain rule. First, mod, uh, first differentiate the, uh, the bracket, which is uh, treat the whole bracket as a whole, and then differentiate it and then differentiate the inside of the bracket. All right, hope you guys uh, learned something from this video and you can check out the free notes down below uh, and look out for part two. Watch out for part two uh, where we will be covering the product rule as well as the quotient rule. Hope to see you there and good luck with your math.